Good morning and welcome back. I'm Josh Robertson. We're coming up on 7.30 on your Saturday morning. And as a chilly start to your weekend, let's get to Hannah Gard now with your Weather Authority forecast. Yeah, it's pretty cold out there this morning. Now we're seeing some of that sunshine, but you can see that low cloud deck we have over us that's going to continue to stay there through the morning hours, so our temperatures really are not going to climb that much as we go throughout the day today. We're in the low 50s right now, high 40s on the North Shore, feeling pretty chilly. And those winds coming from the north, gusting up to 20 miles an hour. You can even see our tower camera kind of shaking out there because of those winds. It's going to feel pretty cold because of that. Now we do have some showers moving into the area. These are mostly to our west right now, but we're starting to see some of that light to moderate rainfall on the north shore. We'll see that make its way to the south shore. We're not looking at storms. It's just going to be that nuisance rainfall through the morning and into parts of the afternoon. So it's going to be peaking around lunchtime, but then by the time we get to the afternoon, most of us should start to clear up, and then we will see things clear into the evening tonight. So things are going to stay cold because we have that cloud cover and those showers out there. We're going to be in the low 50s throughout the day. It's not going to change very much from where we are, and those winds are going to stay pretty breezy. So once that rain moves through and that cloud cover moves out, we'll see that sunshine for Sunday. It's still going to be cold because we, the, we still have those northerly winds. And then into Monday, cloud cover increasing through the daytime. We'll stay pretty dry, but we'll see that cloud cover, some rainfall moving in. And Monday into Tuesday, we will see a chance for rain once again. Now, we're already well above average from where we should be this time of year in December. We're about an inch above normal for the month so far, and we could see some more. Just trace amounts through the day today, but by the time we get to Monday into Tuesday, we're going to get some pretty nice rainfall, one to three inches area-wide, and we could see even more down along the coast by the start of the week. So we have a couple chances for rain. Today, we'll see those lingering showers. Monday into Tuesday, it's mostly going to be overnight, but could be lingering into the day Tuesday. And then Thursday, we might see a couple of showers as we have a strong front moving through. So right now, we're seeing that rainfall because we have some southwesterly flow aloft. That's where we see these dark colors and those whites coming in from Texas there from the southwest. That's pumping a little bit of moisture into the region. We also have this upper level trough. That's that low pressure system moving across Texas right now, giving us a little bit of lift. So we're seeing that rainfall. We will dry out into tomorrow. And those temperatures are going to stay well below average. The last seven days into the start of December, we were well above average. Now we're going to see things shifting. We're around average the past two days. We're going to be cooler than that today because of that cloud cover and things are going to start to really dip well below average the rest of this week. We're very chilly up to the northwest, places like Kansas City, Denver, five degrees. So we're about to have a lot of Arctic air moving in, especially up towards Alaska. Negative 26 degrees right now in Alaska. We have negative 58 over in Siberia and we're going to see all of this Arctic air start to make its way down across the U.S. over the next seven days. So here comes that low pressure. We see a big dip in the jet stream into the midweek. And then Thursday, that'll give us a little lift for those showers. And then we're going to have that cold air take over. It's going to be very frigid into Christmas weekend. So we're staying chilly through this week. It's still going to be cold in the 50s and 60s. Not feeling too good. We'll have that rainfall into Monday, Tuesday, staying cold. And then here comes that big weather system, even seeing some snowfall just to the north of us possible. So we're not quite sure on the S word here yet, but we are going to see that in some areas across the central U.S., and that Arctic blast bringing much cooler temperatures. So we are concerned about that freeze, especially for the North Shore. For the next two days, it's mostly going to be frost. But by the end of the week, hard freeze expected into the weekend. So you do want to make those preparations. Now, even the South Shore, by the end of the week, 20s for our lows. So we are watching for that. By the time we get to the end of the week, we're really going to be concerned about those freeze conditions. But even the next two mornings for the North Shore, make mm -hmm. sure you're putting those freeze precautions in place. Pets, plants, people. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. Pets, plants, people. To, it's hard to say in a row, but that's... It is. It's a little bit of a tongue twister, yeah. but it'll help you memorize it. Yeah. There you go. Pets, plants, people. All right. Thank you very much there, Hannah.